Welcome to Japanese classroom. This lesson is about how to include the meaning of can in your sentence. That is like I can swim, I can run, etc. There are two ways of doing this, so I will show you each way in separate videos. The first way is to, to change the ending to koto ga dekimasu. The first example is about riding a bicycle. I ride a bicycle is jitensha ni norimasu. And if you want to change that into I can ride a bicycle, I change the verb norimasu to its dictionary form and add koto ga dekimasu afterwards. So the sentence is jitensha ni noru koto ga dekimasu. This table shows you how to change verbs from the must form to its dictionary form. If the verb is an ichidan verb, you swap must with ru. If the verb is a godan verb, you change the i sounding letter before must into the u sounding letter of the same column, the same consonant. And with irregular verbs, kimas becomes kuru and shimas becomes suru. If this explanation was too fast, I have a separate video explaining the change more thoroughly. So please click the icon at the top right corner and follow the link. Okay, if you want to add the meaning of can to the sentence, John comes to school, John さんは学校に来ます。You change the irregular verb 来ます to its dictionary form, which is 来る and add ことができます。So, John さんは学校に来ることができます。If you want to add the meaning of can to the sentence Mary cooks, Mary さんは料理をします。Change the irregular verb します。Into its dictionary form, suru, and add koto ga dekimasu. So, Mary さんは料理をすることができます If you want to add the meaning of can to the sentence, Mary eats sushi, Mary さんは寿司を食べます You can change the ichidan verb 食べます to its dictionary form, 食べる and add koto ga dekimasu. メアリーさんは寿司を食べることができます。So using a verb in the dictionary form with ことができます adds the meaning of can and by changing できます into its different forms we can change the meaning to cannot or could or could not. This table shows you how to change できます into its various forms. In this table, I wrote was able to instead of could because the English word could can mean something else. できました、できませんでした、or できた、できなかった are purely about was able to or was not able to. So let's see how it changes with the example of being able to eat sushi. メアリーさんは寿司を食べることができます。is Mary can eat sushi. If I change into できません、メアリーさんは寿司を食べることができません。means Mary cannot eat sushi. メアリーさんは寿司を食べることができました。means Mary was able to eat sushi. メアリーさんは寿司を食べることができませんでした。means Mary was unable to eat sushi. Here, the examples are in the plain form. メアリーさんは寿司を食べることができる。is Mary can eat sushi in the plain form. メアリーさんは寿司を食べることができない。means Mary cannot eat sushi. メアリーさんは寿司を食べることができた。Is Mary was able to eat sushi? 
メアリーさんは寿司を食べることができなかった。means Mary could not, was not able to eat sushi. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you liked this lesson, please subscribe to my channel and give a thumb up. Also, I have compiled a small set of exercises for you to get used to this sentence pattern. Please visit easyjapanese.com for details. また今度、See you next time!